Okay, so let's start with group three. So this is Alyssa's work. This is the connotative version, and this is the denotative. Um, so, so this is looking a lot better. I would just make maybe one suggestion for you is to eliminate the serifs of the M right here. I don't think they're, they're, they're making a T. Um, so I would actually um, just get rid of those serifs and then that would be a continuous line. And what I would recommend is um, bringing this, this long stem over here and aligning it to mocha iced coffee and just having it stop there, right where the baseline is. And I think that should be it. And I would just evaluate whether or not that would be the right placement for your overall layout. You might want to bring it more towards this side over here, this whole chunk, and then open up some more white space. Just evaluate and see uh, what you want to do with that. But I think um, this definitely looks very clean, and, and it definitely has a lot of different variety going on with the bold type and then the thinner type over here and uh, the bold, the smaller weight over here. Um, I did notice though you haven't really put ingredients or uh, instructions um, and it could be because the te text is very minimal which is fine. What I would just recommend is not put put that much kerning into your letter forms so um, there's a lot of space in between your letter forms so I would just avoid that and um, just kind of bring down the printing a little bit. Otherwise, I think that looks great. Um, for this particular layout, I mean, you know what, I think um, you might want to go with a font that is more in line with what you're using here. Um, I'm not sure that this is the font for this layout. It just seems, um, I don't know. It, it just seems like misplaced somehow. I like the the centered look and feel, and I just like how balanced this is, but just the font is just, I don't know, it's just throwing it off for me. And you can just go with a simple typeface for this version over here. Um, it's just, it's kind of looking a little too cartoony, you know. So let's see if there's a different font treatment that you can work with. Uh, just to make this a little bit more balanced, kind of like the balanced layout that you have over here, um, just so that they can sit side by side and make sense with each other. So that would be my feedback for you. Let's move to Andrew's work. So Andrew is doing pasta. Um, so this looks better. I still think you're getting a little too close to the edge right here. Right? I'm not sure why this is in an outline and this is not, so let's try to unify that a little bit more. So we have directions and ingredients, those should have at least some kind of treatment that is similar. Um, and you can kind of tone down the boldness of the font, you can kind of go a medium weight of sorts. I still think your layout is taking up a lot of space. Um, and there's not enough white space overall. And overall, things can get smaller just a tiny bit. So let's see if we can work on creating some negative space around your layout. I do like how we have some openness here with your connotative. So I'm wondering if we can bring some of that somehow into your uh, denotative. Because this looks a little bit more playful. One thing that I would recommend is this... Uh, treatment that you have here, I'd like this to align with the directions, like on the same uh, the same line that you have the, the left aligned, just if you were to draw an imaginary line, I'd still want those to align. And I think that would really help this layout really well, and I like how, you know, we have certain type of space created um, for how much we have between each sentence and then we have our paragraph structure over here. Um, I think here you might want to crop a little bit more 
or just make this a little bit smaller because this is creating a weird tangent like that on the edge. And I like how you crop shrimp over here and here, although um, you're not really able to read this over here, it just says rimp. So let's bring in some letter forms over here. And just careful here, just when they, you get a little too close to the type, I mean, you can probably move this more towards this way. And then maybe when you align this to this uh, paragraph, you'll probably see a difference in the alignment section. Okay. Let's go to Aaron's work. Uh, Aaron, this is looking better. Uh, just careful with how close you're getting to these edges over here. Um, I think overall you can go a little smaller with your layout in general. Maybe not your title treatment, but just your ingredients in general. Um, they can have a little bit of scaling coming down. Um, just going to scale down certain things. It's just so that we can see a little bit more white space um, and just we want to avoid the traditional recipe look. Um, and let's try to look at this in a way where uh, the title treatment can maybe align to the left somehow. And maybe, um, so I like where you're putting ingredients and directions. Um, but let's say if we don't need to repeat ourselves here, what would happen if this were to be eliminated and this might be a little bit more bolder and black somehow that we just know that we don't need to repeat ourselves. So just a few things here and there. Um, but I, overall, I think these pieces of information, ingredients, and directions can go smaller of sorts and then align your title and then that can create a little bit more white space in general because you're seeing a lot of um, areas that have white space, like especially here and here, but then it's kind of getting clogged up in certain areas. All right, so let's just open this up. This looks a lot better. It's a lot easier to read. It's a lot more simplified. Um, I don't know if you played around with putting directions on the same angle as those uh, sentences over here, same with ingredients, although I'll, I'll uh, leave that to your discretion, but I think this looks good and it's very close to being done, I would say. Um, that would be my only feedback, is to see whether or not if directions made sense over here, or ingredients. Okay, evaluate it and see what comes next. Um, and then, I like how these are kind of going in a specific shape, kind of like a, a series of uh, measuring spoons at an angle. Um, maybe uh, create a membrane system for some of those areas over here and be careful that you're not getting too close to the edge like right here where it says cheese and stir um, and also right here you don't want to get too close here I think this is good right here where you have some space um, but in certain areas you're getting way too close so just be a little bit more mindful of that okay um, so this is uh, Sode's work, so spicy tuna roll. Uh, this looks better. I like where this is headed and, and that it's a lot easier to read, uh, specifically this version right here, the quantitative. Uh, I like that we're creating a numbering system, so that helps us step one, step two, step three. Um, I'm not sure if, there, okay, there's a step four right there, so. Um, yeah, I think this, this works a lot better for this round. It's a lot more clear to read. I'm wondering if there's something you can bring to these sides. Um, I'll leave that under, to your discretion, but this is definitely a strong layout for you. I think overall, you're uh, denotative. There's a lot of space being taken with the size of your title. And I'm wondering if there's a way for us to scale that down, just so that we can create a bit more negative space. Um, yeah, that I think it's just way too large compared to the type. So that would be my feedback for you. Okay, so that is week three. I will see you in the next video for a good part.